You already know what it is. Verse 2. Three Bobby Smoking Show. Better believe that. Vibe on that. Still grinding. Still grinding. T-Rex on the course. Key heat in these streets. Gotta keep it real. So this is episode two, man. Verse two. <clears throat> Reese Bobby smoking. The show. The official. Elevating. Through the car. You know what I'm talking about? You can look on the screen for the little cover. Reese Bobby smoking show. The architect of the internet of things. You know what I'm saying the connectivity out here. Just go on the page by the beat.com. Check out everything, support whatever. Now let's get straight into it. Last verse one we ended off on the preamble. Now verse two, we taking it to Article One, Section One. And we all know what this talking about. The D the folk. D the folk. First folk who who's quote unquote are the legislative body they the legislative body you know what I'm talking about let's go to see these guys you know what I'm saying the legislative body we gonna see what they talking about so you got the legislative body the article one the first, per, the first people to be delegated some authority up around him, and what did they do with their little issues? Right now they at the old standstill. They got the whole MRC on like standstill, man. Why they got MRC on standstill like that? that huh? Why they got MR cut on, on standstill like that? that I ain't trying to go to the article now. Come on now. See, they stunting, tripping. Trying to take me to the article by Congress. I don't want to see him. But you know what I'm talking about? We'll dwell on that picture real quick. So, Article 1, U.S. Constitution. We're getting right into it. All legislative powers herein granted shall be vested in the Congress of the United States, which shall consist of a Senate and House of Representatives. So, we got both of them. Now, what's the issue? What are they supposed to do? You know what I'm talking about? They instructed to do a, a few things, and they are not allowed to do what's not in the Constitution. You know what I'm talking about? So every time we think about when we think about these representatives, are they doing stuff that's constitutional or unconstitutional? This is how you fact check that. Constitutional means it's allowed in the Constitution. Unconstitutional means it's not in the Constitution, but they still got it going on. They still legislating and, 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 and making it an issue. Which is not delegated to them. You know what I'm talking about? All legislative powers herein granted shall be vested in a Congress of the United States, which shall consist of a Senate and House of Representatives. So that means if it's if it's not legislated herein, if it's not a power legislated herein, then it's not vested in the Congress. All right, let's get to it. Section two. The House of Representatives shall be composed. Of members chosen every second year by the people of the several states, and the electors in each state shall have the qualifications requisite for electors of the most numerous branch of the state of the legis uh, of the numerous branch of the state legislature. 
And you already figured out how I did the whole little voting sequence on verse 1. So we're going off of that map of power. See how all power derived from the people. You know what I'm talking about? The House of Representatives shall be composed of the members chosen every second year by the people. You know what I'm talking about? Are you the people or are you not the people? You one body within the people or are you not the people? That's the whole thing. That's the whole predicate. You know what I'm saying? Where you personally think you fall. If you don't personally think this America for you or you ain't no sitting with whatever, you just don't vote. You know what I'm talking about? And then if you're trying to elect something, you try to overthrow something, go with it back to your own country. Go back to your own spot, that, that, that boy. And you go fight for that justice over there. Don't come over here and soil all we got going on within our little construct. You know what I'm talking about? Because, yeah, we, whatever, you know what I'm talking about? Forever disclaimer. Now, back to it. No person shall be a representative who shall not have attained to the age of 25 years and have been seven years a citizen of the United States and who shall not, when elected, be an inhabitant of that state in which he shall be chosen. Seven years a citizen. Ain't that something? Because most of the previous founding do founding peoples wasn't no born over here. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> they want to represent. But, and also you may have communities, you got communities made up, up of immigrants. You know what I'm saying? So, if you, if it's going to be truthful, if it's going to be true base, you know what I'm saying? You got to have your leader within there. If everybody come from, like, Wisconsin, a whole bunch of German folk done done settled in. Then the first couple of years, you know what I'm saying? You got a lot of immigrants. Then you got the folk who done been there seven years. Now you can represent yourself versus have some native folk who ain't other community had to be there and be your little overseer so you'd be constitutionally right you know what I'm talking about so no person shall be a representative who shall not have attained the age of 25 years been seven years a citizen who shall not would elect to be an inhabitant of the state in which he shall be chosen representatives and representatives and direct taxes shall be a portion among the several states which may be included within this union according to their respective numbers which shall be determined by adding the whole number of free persons free persons include in, including those bound to service for a term of years and excluding indians not tax three-fifths of all other persons ain't that some the actual enumeration shall be made within three years after the first meeting of the congress of the united states and within every subsequent term of 10 years in such manner as they shall by law direct the number of representatives shall not exceed one for every 30,000. But each state shall have at least one representative. And until such enumeration shall be made, the state of New Hampshire, New Hampshire shall be entitled to choose three, Massachusetts eight, Rhode Island, and Providence plant plantations one, Connecticut five, New York six, New Jersey four, Pennsylvania eight, Delaware one, Maryland six, Virginia ten. North Carolina 5 South Carolina 5 Georgia 3 When vacancies happen in the representation from any state and the executive authority thereof shall issue writs of election to fill such vacancies the House of Representatives shall choose their speaker and other officers and shall ha have the sole power of impeachment Dum dum dum. Oh snap! They talking the impeachment. Now that's a whole web of stuff that we ain't gonna even go on to to uh, to go and see. You know, to my we ain't gonna we ain't gonna digest the whole issue right there. But what we are gonna concentrate on is the actual enumeration shall be made within three years of the first meeting of Congress of the United States and within every subsequent term of 10 years. So that's the census, you know what I'm saying? And that's another issue coming up 2020, that where this document, this constitution, you you are part of the body politic. If you, if, if, if you are here, but you're not claiming your power, but you're not delegating that authority to nobody else, meaning you're not voting somebody to tell you, or if, if you're not part of the voting block, you're not just voting because this is you, you part of a party. The party told you to vote for these people, and you bombed. So you just go ahead and vote. If you ain't on that, if you actually a thinker, and then you actually care about 
who you vote for and who you choose to enforce your will, then you would have individuals, rather what party they may lie on, you know what I'm saying? And so when you all together don't participate, now the people who are in got to still account for you even though it's excluding Indians, not tax, and three-fifths of all other persons, you know what I'm saying, which in this case would be immigrants, which was back then meant slaves. Before the 13th Amendment, we're going to get to that 13th Amendment. Remember, we're going to get there. It's one of the episodes in the future. So now we're going to go ahead to Section 3. So just remember that. They got the sole power of impeachment. So these folks who you elect every two years, the rabble rousers of the country, you know what I'm saying, who actually represent when we create the country in our own image, you know what I'm saying, so it could be a living being. Our, our, our body politic is a living being. And it's because we elect folk every two years. So if you show that you ain't good, yes, get your ass. We ain't going to elect you. You can't do so much damage because you, got, you vote with so many different people. Take so many votes to get things done to where it, could, it should be conservative. So when, a liberals, when liberalism come through, it should be with, on basis of everybody agreeing on it because of the sheer volume of the representatives based on the enumeration. All right, now section three. The Senate of the United States shall be composed of two senators from each state chosen by the legislator thereof for six years. And each senator shall have one vote. Oh, do we use our legislator to vote for our senator? Immediately... After they shall be assembled in consequence of the first election, they shall be divided as equally as may be into three classes. The seats of the senators of the first class shall be vacated at the expiration of the second year, of the second class at the expiration of the fourth year, and the third class at the expiration of the sixth year, so that one-third may be chosen every second year, and if vacancies happen by resignation or otherwise during the recess of the legislative any state the executive thereof may temporary may make temporary appointments until the next meeting of the legislature which shall then fill such vacancies no person shall be a senator who shall not have attained the age of 30 years and been nine years a citizen of the united states and who shall not when elected be an inhabitant of that state for which he shall be chosen the Vice President of the United States shall be the President of the Senate, which shall have no vote unless they be equally divided. The Senate shall choose their other officers and also a President pro tempore in absence of the Vice President or when he shall exercise the office of the President of the United States. The Senate shall have the sole power to try all impeachments. When sitting for that purpose, they shall be an oath or an or an affirm affirmation when the president of the united states is tried the chief justice sh shall preside and no person shall be convicted without the concurrence of two-thirds of the members present judgment in cases of impeachment shall not extend further than to removal from office and disqualification to hold and enjoy any office of honor trust or profit under the united states but the party convicted shall nevertheless be liable and subject to indictment, trial, judgment, punishment according to law. So everybody is not above the law. You know what I'm talking about? No one is above the law. But the Senate shall have the sole power to try the impeachment. The House of Representatives causes the impeachment, calls for the impeachment. You know what I mean? So the power is split. Even if the, all the power lie with one party, it's still split. The way you can't do everything. So the key part of that there is when you have your senator, the purpose of the senators, it, it, um, it's the dang on uh, the, the vice president when he sits there. He's an agent of the president to make sure the agenda get done. You know what I'm saying? So that's why he has no vote. So he don't enforce that the agenda gets done. But by him sitting there being the president, he oversees that the 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 the, the topics are talked about. The the president's agenda. The times place section four. 
The time, places, and manner of holding elections for senators and representatives shall be prescribed in each state by the legislature thereof. But the Congress may at any time by law make or alter such regulations except as to the places of choosing senators. The Congress shall assemble at least once in every year, and such meetings shall be on the first Monday in December, unless they shall by law appoint a different day. See, we pan these folk. See how they want they want a pay raise, but they are not doing anything. Is because Section Four, we're not holding them to Section Four. Congress shall assemble at least once in at least once in every year. That's how we need to relegate them back to one time a year. Y'all done made too many laws, too many lobbyists, too many everything to defund the government. We need Section Four. Shall be prescribed. In each state by the legislature thereof. But the Congress may at any time by law make or alter such regulations. See, they want to have their own little loopholes. So section 5. Each house shall be the judge of the elections, return the qualifications of his own members, and a majority of each shall constitute a quorum to do business. But a smaller number may adjourn from day to day and may be authorized to compel the attendance of absent members in such manner and under such penalties as each house may provide. Each house may determine the rules of its proceedings, punish its members for disorderly behavior, and with the concurrence of two-thirds, expel a member. Each house shall keep a journal of its proceedings, and from time to time publish the same, except in such part, parts as may in their judgment require secrecy, and the yeas and nays of the members of either house on any question shall, at the desire of one-fifth of those present, shall be entered on the journal. Neither house during the Congress, during the session of Congress, shall without the consent of the other adjourn for more than three days, nor to any other place in that in which the two houses shall be sitting. So that's kind of self-explanatory. We're gonna just run straight through that one. There. Section six, six. The senators and representatives shall receive a compensation for their services and be to be ascertained by law and paid out to the treasury of the united states they shall in all cases except treason felony breach of the peace be privileged from arrest during their attendance at the session of their respective houses and in going to and returning from the same and for any speech or debate in either house they shall not be questioned in any other place no senator or representative shall during the time for which he was elected be appointed to any civil office under the authority of the United States which shall have been created or the emoluments whereof shall have been increased during such time and no person holding any office under the United States shall be a member of either house during his continuance in office and on that note after section 6 that was section 6 we're going to go back to this music take a little break Somebody we listening to that. We tried and told you, trying to chill. Streets done told you on that by the beach. You know what I'm saying? YouTube, YouTube, you go to that and check it out. YouTube, YouTube. Or you go on the website, bodybeach.com, buy that. So we back. Reese Bobby smoking, you know what I'm saying? We, we just finished off with that section six of the Constitution, you know what I'm saying? So now we're getting back on this section seven. And we already know. Now we on Article One. Man, you'll be on Article 1, Section 7 of the U.S. Constitution. Now, the purpose of all this is so when we get to later, when we get to the later dates or whatever, later verses of the program, 
we want to already know that everybody who listening to this program already covered their base on the Constitution. Everything that this show going to be about is based on is it constitutional or is it not constitutional. So to have that basis, we got to know the Constitution. So to make sure we know the Constitution, we we'll make sure all these first episodes contain me saying the Constitution. So that way the listener and me, you know what I'm saying, anybody want to come on and, 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 and question do we know the Constitution, we know the Constitution because we invoked it while in the, during these programs, you know what I'm saying, through the beginning program. So it's, it's the foundation that we're building off of. So we on Article One, and we know, yes, in verse verse one we did the preamble. Verse two is Article One of the Constitution. So now we on Section Seven. You feel me? Uh, section Seven of Article One. Now, a bill for raising revenue shall originate in the House of Representatives, but the sh the Senate shall propose or concur with the amendments, as on any other bills. Now you see that section seven. Now we got this whole immigration crisis. We got all these issues, right? They, where the people talking about money, and we talk about the debt crisis, any other crisis that we got going on. A bill for raising revenue shall originate in the House of Representatives. You know what I'm saying? So anything is all based on these guys. Anything the president signed off on them, put in the law because these niggas done. Boy, hey, we got to switch all that. Every bill which shall have passed the House of Representatives and the Senate shall before it be. Before it become a law, be presented to the President of the United States. If he approves, he says he shall sign it. If not, he shall return it with his objections to the house in which it shall have originated, and who shall enter the objections at large on their journal and proceed to reconsider it. If after such reconsideration, two thirds of that house shall agree to pass the bill, it shall be sent together with the objections to the other house by which it shall likewise be reconsidered and if approved by two thirds of that house it shall become a law but in all such cases the votes of both houses shall be determined by yeas and nays and the names of persons voting for and against the bill shall be entered in the journal of each house respectively if any bill shall not be returned by the president within ten days after it shall be presented to him the same shall be a law and in like manner as if he had signed it, unless the Congress by the adjournment prevent its return, in which case it shall not be a law. Every order, resolution, or vote to which the concurrence of the Senate and House of Representatives may be necessary shall be presented to the President of the United States, and before the same shall take effect shall be approved by him, or being disapproved by him shall be repassed by two-thirds of the of the Senate and House of Representatives according to the rules and limitations prescribed in the case of a bill. So that was section seven. You know what I'm talking about? Thank you for tuning in to the Reese Bobby Smoking Show. You know what I'm saying? You, you can dig that architect of the IOT. We seen how we got to this point by checking out the construct, the foundation that it was all brought here through. So section eight. The Congress shall have power to lay and collect taxes duties, imposts, and excise, to pay debts and to provide for the common defense and general welfare of the United States. But all duties, imposts, and excise shall be uniform throughout the United States, to borrow money on the credit of the United States, to regulate commerce with foreign nations and among the several states, and with the Indian tribes and to establish a uniform rule of naturalization and uniform laws on the subject of bankruptcies throughout the United States, to coin money, regulate the value thereof, and the foreign coin, and to fix the standard weights and measures, to provide for the punishment of counterfeiting, the, the securities and current coin of the United States, to establish post office and post roads, to promote the progress of science and useful arts by securing for limited times to authors and inventors the exclusive right to their respective writings and discoveries to constitute tribunals inferior to the to Supreme Court to define and punish piracies and felonies committed on the high seas and offenses against the law of nations to declare war grant letters of marquee and reprisal and to make rules concerning capture on land and water to raise and support armies 
but no a, a proportion appropriation of money to that use shall be for a longer term than two years we've been in we've been in Afghanistan for 19 but no war shall be longer than two years to provide and maintain a navy to make rules for the government and regulation of the land and naval forces to provide for calling forth the militia to execute the laws of the union suppress insurrections and repel invasions to provide for organizing armies and disciplining the militia and for governing such part of them as may be employed in the service of the United States reserving to the states respectively the appointment of the officers and the authority of the training of the militia according to the discipline prescribed by Congress to exercise exclusive legislation in all cases whatsoever over such district as may by secession by session of particular states and the acceptance of Congress become the seat of government of the United States and to exercise like authority over all places purchased by the consent of the legislator of the state in which shall be the same shall be for the erection of forts magazines arsenals dockyards and other needful buildings and to make law all laws which shall be necessary and proper for carrying into execution the foregoing powers and all other powers vested by this constitution in the government of the united states or any department or office thereof now the issue with that there is they all out of pocket you know what i'm saying we shouldn't have business licenses and all that they ain't here to regulate our business we they only regulate our business with the foreign nations so that's section eight section nine the migration or importation of such persons as any of the states now existing shall think proper to admit shall not be prohibited by the congress prior to the year 1808 but a tax or a duty may be imposed on such importation not exceeding ten dollars for each person the privilege of the writ of habeas corpus shall not be suspended unless when in cases of rebellion or invasion the public safety may require it. no bill of attainer or ex post facto law shall be passed no capitation or other direct tax shall be laid unless in proportion to the census or enumeration herein before directed to be taken no duty or tax shall be laid on articles exported from any state no preference shall be given by any regulation or of com commerce or revenue to the ports of one state over those of another nor shall vessels bound to or from one state be obliged to enter clear or pay duties in another no money shall be drawn from the treasury but in consequence of appro appropriations made by law in the regular statement and account of the receipts and expenditures of all public money shall be published from time to time <clears throat> no title of nobility shall be granted by the united states and no person holding any office of profit or trust under them shall without consent of the congress accept any present emolument office or title of any kind whatever from any king prince or foreign state and with that there that was the end of section nine article one take a break You know what I'm saying? That was a little short little break. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for tuning in. This verse 2, you know what I'm saying? Last upload with verse 1 of the Reese Bobby Smoking Show. Architect of the Internet of Things. At Donna King. 
bythebeast.com. You know what I'm talking about? We starting off the foundation with the Constitution. We on Article 1. We just finished off with Section 9. Now we on to Section 10. Article 1. Last video, verse 1, we did the preamble. Now we into the meat of the gristle. You know what I'm saying? So and now we going to finish it off. Section 10. Then that's going to be the Riz out for the episode, verse 2. You know what I'm talking about? No state shall enter into any treaty, alliance, or confederation. Grant letters of marquee or reprisals, coin money, emit bills of credit, make anything but gold and silver, coin a tender and payment of debts. You hear that, boy? M make anything but gold and silver coin a tender and payment of debt. So how you paying bail? How you paying anything to the state? You paying all these licenses with money, but you're not using gold and silver coin as a tender and payment of debt. Huh? Pass any bill of attainment. Expect for post facto law or law impairing the obligation of contracts to grant any title of nobility. No state shall, without consent of Congress, lay any imposts or duties on imports or exports except what may be absolutely necessary for executing its inspection laws. And the net produce of all duties and imposts laid by any state on imports or exports shall be for the use of the treasury of the united states and all such laws shall be subject to the revision and control of the congress no state shall without consent of congress lay any duty on tonnage keep troops or ships of war in time of peace enter into any agreement or compact with another state or with the foreign power or engage in war unless actually invaded or in such an imminent danger as will not admit of delay. You know what I'm talking about? So that's section two. Oh, then the key takeaway from that is the, all the no's. No state shall. No state shall. No state shall. No state shall. You see the drawbacks in the Constitution? This just ain't unchecked authority to do whatever. This is, this is a, a document where the voter the people have to stay involved to hold the people that we delegate all this authority to don't oversee that you know what I'm saying how you charging me how the police gonna come charge me in the state the city the city is in the state so how the the, the city county gonna charge me a hundred dollar ticket and I, I can't pay it in gold the state don't make gold for me to pay debts they don't make silver coin so how am I using a dollar to pay something that you niggas only regulated to charge me in gold coin? So if I ain't got the bullion, if I ain't laced up with the gold tonnage, how you charge me, bro? How you charge me? How you charge me? You know what I'm saying? So that's verse two. You know, we getting into the thick of things. We starting off on the foundation with little tidbits of questions of the present. Are we talking about the past? You know what I'm saying? Because it's a document that we all born into, so we living with it. Because anything they anything happen to you as pertaining to the government is supposed to be based on the document that they even you even encounter encountering this imaginary force called the body politic government. Bobby Smoking Show, verse two. You know what I'm saying? Section one. Article map. My bad. Article one of the Constitution. We just reviewed that. 
Y'all go on the website, support the show, get the flag in Americana hoodie for the 55 long. You know what I'm talking about? Set your mind right as you rock that. Let all the haters know where you stand so they could turn from hating to loving. You dig that? And we out like that. That, that, boy. That, that, that.